Well, hello there, Pisces. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And we're going to be tapping into what's coming up for you on November 15th to the 21st. Let's see what's happening here. What is happening for Pisces? Well, it looks like you're going to be celebrating an ending to something. Something's finally over. And it might have something to do with a King of Pentacles, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that could be your energy. You could be coming into a great financial situation, being stable. Something really good here. Okay, let's see what else we have. Wow, so you're moving away from something to something better. You're going to have to make a decision on something. Something could be coming back around. It could be a king of cups. It could be coming back into your life. could be um, a family member. could be a relationship. could be a past person you're involved with. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. could be a situation. Okay, let's see what else we have. And also there's an ending to some kind of burden that work. Something that it feels like something you had to fight for. And you had to um, stand up to someone. And this is over now. Okay, so that's good. Oop, that one wanted to pop out. So we have Sagittarius Energy, Temperance, Page of Pentacles. And the Five of Cups. Okay, so you're balancing something out in your life. You probably had a lot of patience with, with waiting for something to come in. Now the offer is coming in. Could be from Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be a job offer. But you're still, someone's crying over lost something else lost here. And they're not seeing the opportunities behind. But there is the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the spread. Nice. Okay, let's start clarifying. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Pisces? Why do we have the Nine of Cups? And we have the Six of Poles. So, looks like something good is happening here. Well, you got Nine of Cups and you got the Six of Poles. So, Six of Wands. So, something you're, you're going to get recognized for something here. And you're going to be celebrating this. Okay, what about the Ten of Swords? And we also have the Six of Feathers. So yeah, so whatever this ending is, you, this is providing you a chance to move on to something better. So you're leaving something behind, you ended something. It could be a relationship or a job or something that you no longer... Um, Felt that it was a good idea to be there, so you're leaving. Wow, this is good because now you're you're getting your recognition here. You're very happy about it. You're going on now. Let's see why is this King of Pentacles here? And we have the Three of Junk. So this is this looks like a work situation. You might be working with someone here. King of Pentacles might be a boss or a new job. Either you're getting a, a position of being in more of a leadership role or being in charge, or there's someone coming towards you that is a boss that could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, coming in with a job offer or working together on something. Okay, what about this Six of Swords? And we have the Strength card. So whatever this, whatever's happening here is giving you the strength to move on. You have two cards of two of the Six of Swords moving away from something here. Leo energy, being strong, capable, moving away from something to something better. So why do we have the Judgment card here? This is a new deck that I'm working with. So i got to get used to the, the different um, suits here. And we have the Queen of Poles. So this is a Queen of Wands. So this, 
either someone sees you as a queen of wands and they're very attracted to you, very sexy, very desi desirable, or there's a Aries Leo or, or Sagittarius coming into your life here that you might have to decide. It might be someone with the path with a judgment card. What about this King of Cups? Why do we have the King of Cups? And we have the Six of Pots. So this is this is someone from the past. This King of Cups. So I'm what I'm feeling here is that this person sees you as the Queen of Wands, and they they're very attracted to you, and they have a lot of love for you. There's someone from their past that has a lot of love for you. Now they could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Okay, what about this Eight of Pentacles? And we have the Knight of Poles. So yeah, so they're going to come in. Someone's coming in real quick. It might be some someone from work. There's going to be opportunity coming in. And it's going to come in quick. It might be a work opportunity. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the Hangman Bond. This is your energy. Pisces energy. You might have been waiting for this for a while. But it's coming in now. Let's see. What about this Ten of Wands? Why do we have the Ten of Wands? And we have the five of poles. So this was a burden because there's competition here or there's struggles here, maybe conflict. And that, that was a burden at work. Yeah, I think there's some kind of something going on at work that um was not fun. Okay, what about this nine of wands? We have the world card. Yeah, so this this is completed. This is over. So there just is endings and it feels like you, you're getting rid of your burdens here. Because we got a cycle that is over. So whatever you're doing, maybe you left this job and now you're starting something new. It could be that this person here is coming in with an offer for you for a new job or a new department or a new position. Because there's too much chaos, too much conflict in there this was a burden so now you fought the battle you won maybe someone even noticed you at work that you did you know you did a good job no matter what you went through so now they might be offering you something brand new okay what about the temperance card sagittarius energy why is the temperance card here and we have the five of feathers yes yeah, so there's you're balancing things out from whatever this um conflicted area energy was here there's a lot of like backstabbing or or just too much it felt I'm getting like verbal abuse or something going on that was just too much you didn't like the environment so now you're balancing out you're moving on to something else let's see about this page of Pentacles and we have the page of feathers yes yeah, someone so now we have two pages here someone might be watching you they might be spying on you. They might, or they could be just for work too. It could be maybe a headhunter or, or a recruiter, someone trying to, you know, they're watching you and they're going to offer you this opportunity because it looks like with this page of feather, there is this page of pentacles. So there's an opportunity coming in and it could be for a job here. Okay, what about this five of cups? And fives are changes. So we have quite a few fives. We got five, five, five. So you have changes coming in, definitely. Might be three changes. I don't know if we had any more. Okay, and we have the ten of feathers. So yeah, something's ended here. Someone was crying over what they lost here, but this is over. You're not going to be crying anymore. There's new opportunities coming in, and we have the hermit card. So Virgo energy. All right, I think that looking pretty good. Let's get some more cards on here and see what's going on. What else is going on for Pisces? We have the Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. 
and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I think you cut out whatever was not serving you well here. And now I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, you coming into your own, doing really well at work, and speaking your truth, and just cutting out what does not belong. Okay, what else do we have here? Pisces. We have the Emperor. Oop. The Seven of Swords and the Strength. Yeah, again, I feel like you're in your power. You're very strong. And whoever's trying to pull something over on you or be sneaky, they're going to be found out. If they're trying to um, deceive you or talk bad about you or anything like that with the Seven of Swords, someone's going to rat them out. They're not going to get away with whatever they're trying to steal or trying to manipulate or trying to um, sabotage. I'm getting the word sabotage. They're going to be found out. Okay, what else we got here? Okay, and again, we get this page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's coming in here. There's going to be an even give and take here. You're going to get compensated for your work. Maybe you didn't, wasn't getting it before. You're going to have a lot of fun too. I'm feeling, but there's someone thinking about you. You're on someone's mind. Could be this Knight of Wands. They might be coming towards you with an offer here. You're also taking a little bit of a rest period here. Okay, one more set on these cards. And then we'll see what signs we're dealing with for you guys. Here goes the Five of Cups again. A lot of changes for you. All these five. And it's going to be in work. And they're, they're, you're destined for something really good here. So I figure whatever you're worried about at work and what you lost. Because you might have lost something. You might have lost a little integrity or, or lost something. Or maybe a friend or lost faith in the position, it's going to be brought into something new is coming in here. Three of Pentacles, a new work situation, whether it be in a new department, a new company, but it's going to be changing. It's destined to be there. It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to be really good for you. And they got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. So there's someone that loves you a lot. And they're, they showed up because they're they here too, I think. Yeah, we have the King of Cups here. So yeah, so this person is um has a lot of love and emotions for you. You know what? I'm going to throw a couple more cards on here. Let's see. What else do we have for Pisces? That went way too quick. A few more. Oh, Five of Cups. It keeps on showing up. So this is shocking. Whatever this is that with the Five of Cups that someone's been crying over this loss, someone might even return with a passionate new offer here. This might be the person that whoever hurt you here and may, they're not sure if you'll take the offer, but they're going to come in quick or out of the blue. Or you're going to get news about something here. Might be news about something that you lost. And it's going to bring a new beginning though. So whatever this is, it's bringing a brand new um, passionate Cre create a new beginning. Get a couple more. Again, getting rid of these burdens here. You have the Page of Swords. This is the Spy card. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, there's a burden here. You might watch some. And if this is a Playboy, you might have calmed the Playboy here. The Playboy might be coming back not as, or Playgirl. Not playing so much. You do have the Sun underneath here. Leo energy, a lot of happiness here, but there is someone watching you. Um, I'm going to get more on this Knight of Wands in reverse. Why do we have this Knight of Wands in reverse here? Wow. Okay, so this, you get the Knight, Knight of Wands is very strong. So you, you have a King of Cups here a couple times and you have this knight of wands coming up a lot so aries leo sagittarius is definitely in your life they could be from the past and i think also that king of cups could be from the someone from the past because then we have the six of cups here somewhere Get too many cards here i thought we did yeah here's the six of cups on the king of so you might have two people come back from the past the king of cups and the knight of wands both 
and here's burn you keep on getting burned you're getting rid of these burn there's endings here to burdens here and being someone was left out in the cold his, uh, that's what the knight of wands is turning itself back around it's weird because we have the knight of wands over here did we have someplace else too i think i got so many cards here but we do have him in the reverse and then upright oh here's the knight of wands too yeah so shoot we have the knight of wands in every deck So you have a very strong Aries Leo Sagittarius here. Someone that was left out in the cold that wants to come back in. And this has been a really a burden. And there might have been spying on you. There's a, and this has been a really, might have been really tough spying on you. Maybe um, they weren't able to get any information. But the, you do make them happy. And his happiness coming in for you with the sun card at the bottom here. Okay, let's see what signs we're dealing with for you. No, but you got a couple past people come back in. Oh, your reading is great. So we have Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio again, and Capricorn. So here's the signs that this could be the people come back. Also, the other people will be involved. Let's see whoever is starting trouble at work. Their signs might come up also. Okay, guys. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if it resonates. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.